Hi, my name is Scott Aronson and I'm a private chef. I'm here today to talk to you about the different parts to a food processor. We have a Cuisinart food processor here. And first we're gonna start with the work bowl. This is a nine cup capacity work bowl. You attach it to the mechanism like so, and you lock it into place, okay? The second part is the, the blade, of course. And this is the blade, and it goes in like so, and twist it until it drops in. And we also have a dough blade here, which, of course, it's for making dough. So if you're making dough, you're not gonna be using this serrated metal blade, you'll be using this hard plastic blade instead. The other piece of the puzzle is the top. And this top goes right on top, as so. And also will lock right into place. Then comes the pusher assembly. And this is where vegetables and all of your food gets pressed through. If you're shredding cheese or if you're forcing potatoes in for shredding, that's what that's for. And this will come down and lock into place as well. Two other parts to the food processor are these, a slicing and a shredding disc. Now to use these, you have to remove your blade from the inside of your food processor and attach the stem to the end of your slice or shredder by doing so, as you see. Then you take this and you place it inside like so. And you rotate it until it drops in. Then you can go ahead and place your top back on, lock, and use it as a shredder or a slicer. Very easy. One last thing to go over. We have the max fill line to your food processor, which dictates how much liquid you can actually put in before it'll start leaking. So be sure to never put too much liquid in because it will start to leak. And then you'll just have a, a mess of whatever it is that you're preparing. Lastly, the control panel here. We have an on and off switch and a pulse button. The pulse button is for quick pulses of blending. So you don't over blend. Now we're gonna give it a whirl. I'll show you the differences between on and pulse. This is on. Now it will continue to blend or shred or chop whatever it is that's in there. But what if I just want to do something really quick? We're going to go ahead and push the pulse button once. That shuts it off. I can go ahead and press it again and it will intermittently turn on. Okay, so I can control the processing. And that is the different parts to a food processor. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out our other great videos. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to email me at requests at mahalo.com.